The latest measure to help contain the spread of the coronavirus here was a mandatory mask ordinance by Governor Kay Ivey. It came more than a week after an ordinance was already in place for Mobilians, but it was a first for those on the other side of the bay. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski brings us the latest from Gulf Shores. This is the first full weekend that masks have been required here in Gulf Shores. People I talked to have mixed feelings about the mask mandate. Alabama's latest amended safer at home order says anyone over the age of six needs to be wearing a face covering over their mouth and nose while in public. Many people here in Gulf Shores feel wearing a face covering is the right thing to do. It's just one of those things you do just like we talked about, you know, wearing seat belts, wearing clothes, wearing shoes. It's just not that big a deal. If everybody just does their part, we can, you know, do a lot to help everybody. I think if everybody put their mask on, we could kill it and be done or at least slow down the curve. Others say they don't think it should be required at all times. You should stay sanitized, but I mean, you can keep your distance from people if you feel like, I don't feel like everybody should have to wear a mask because like everybody keep their distance like from each other anyway. Like right here, like right now, we're outside on the beach and like I'm walking and like I'm not really like, I'm not really like near someone right now. So like I feel like there's no need to wear a mask and I don't want to wear it like 24 seven because like it feel like my I, I can't breathe that well. The Gulf Shores Police Department says as far as enforcement goes, they are educating and informing the public rather than punishing people for not wearing a mask. Sergeant Jason Woodruff says, quote, our current efforts could lead to future warnings, but based on what we've encountered so far, I think we'll just stay on this path. We are relying on our business partners to do the best they can under the circumstances. People out and about say they've only seen a handful of people in Gulf Shores wearing masks. A few. A few. Yep, we've seen a few. So, and I, you know, I just applaud everybody who wears it. It's not, you know, that it's not a hard thing to do. You know, you just put it on and respect for everybody else. According to the city of Gulf Shores website, people are not required to wear masks on the beach, but they are required once they leave. Reporting in Gulf Shores, Laura Barczewski, NBC 15 News.